Valve World has taken the gaming scene by storm, and what better way to experience its amazing multiplayer mode than inviting all of your friends to join your very own Valve World server. Well in this video, I'll show you how you can do that in just a couple of simple steps. Let's get into it. First, we need to purchase a hosting plan for your server. To do that, click the link in the description below the video and you'll be taken to our Pal World server hosting landing page. We offer three plans with different performance capabilities, so pick the one that suits your needs the best. For optimum performance down the road though, I recommend starting with the Game Panel 2 plan as it's our most popular choice. Click Add to Cart next to your chosen plan. Next, choose a period for your hosting plan. I'll choose the 24 month plan this time as it provides the biggest savings. Then create an account using email or social login like Google or Facebook. The last thing you need to do is choose your preferred payment method and fill in all the required details. But before you check out though, make sure to click here and add our special coupon code which you can find in the description below this video to get an extra 10% off your purchase. Click submit secure payment to finalize your purchase. After buying your VPS plan, you'll be taken to the VPS setup process. It's really simple. First, choose the location for your server. I recommend you choose the location closest to you to ensure the best connection possible. Then finish up the process by creating a password to log into your control panel. Continue through the process of reviewing your service information, click the finish setup button and wait a few moments until the setup is complete. Once everything is done, click here to go to your VPS dashboard where you can configure and overview your service information and also access the game panel, which we can do by selecting panel access and then clicking on your login URL. The hosting or game panel will open up in a new window, so go ahead and log into it using the same username and password you've entered in the setup before. All right, once that's all done, let's create and configure your PAL World server. The first thing we're going to do in the game panel is create a new instance, which you can do by pressing this button. In the new window, select PAL World as your application from the drop down menu. You can give this instance a name in this field and select what to do with the server once it's been created. For now, I'll select update and start once and click create instance. Let's wait for a second until the instance creation is finalized and now all there is left to do is configure our PAL World server. The Hostinger Game Panel offers a lot of functionality to manage and configure your server. Let me give you a quick overview of some settings that you might want to adjust when starting your server. To configure your PAL World server settings, select the instance we just created and on the right side of the dashboard, click Manage. In the new window, click Configuration and then select PAL World server settings. Here you can customize the basic server settings like your server's name, you can allow it to be listed as a community server, you can set a password for it, create a player limit and some other settings that you might find useful later on. Okay, next up, gameplay settings. Here you can configure settings that can change the way the game is played on your server. Basically, here you personalize the rules of the game in your server. For instance, you can enable multiplayer mode, toggle friendly fire if you trust your friends, set the drop items limit and much, much more. Moving on, in the multiplier settings tab, you can further customize the PAL world experience in your server by adjusting the rates and multipliers for certain gameplay elements and systems, basically making the gameplay easier or more difficult. I'd recommend leaving these as default for now for a more vanilla gameplay experience, but you can play around with these later. Finally, we need to get our admin password, so let's go to the security and privacy tab. Here you can set up various security features like enabling two-factor authentication, configure login rate attempts and other useful settings. Now to get your admin password, click generate password under the remote admin password settings here and it will be saved to your clipboard. Don't forget to save it somewhere because we will need it once we're in the game. If you want to create a custom password, you can turn on this option that allows user to find passwords and set your own one too. All right, we've successfully created our server and have everything we need to play the game. Let's launch PAL World and connect to our new server. Launch the game and once you're in the main menu, click on Join Multiplayer Game. Enter your server IP in this field and click Connect. Give it a few moments to load and you will be able to create your character and start playing the game. Easy as that. Now, to gain access as an admin inside your server, you need to use a special command once you're in the game. Press enter for the in-game chat to pop up and type slash admin password, hit the spacebar and then enter the password that you generated earlier. 
you should get a message saying that you have successfully logged in as an admin. As an administrator of the server, you have access to multiple commands. Let me share some of these commands that you can use. Once you're logged in into the server and have admin access, you can enter these commands in the in-game chat to manage the server and moderate players in it. Feel free to pause the video to note them down for future use. Great job on creating your first PAL World server. There's nothing left to do now, but go ahead and enjoy the game. Like and share this video if you found it helpful and leave a comment down below if you have any more questions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on new videos that we post every single week. Good luck pal catching and I'll see you in the next video.